Buhari no no say the energy waiting to get now from Lagos. Ashwaji tell us, don't worry, campaign, let's go around the nation. Nana Buhari body they tell her. We don't see Buhari na cheap up girls with the sea. Lagos, if you want to clap, one clap. Lagos is an amazing place. Rainy season don't start now. Now now you go know the humility of Lagos. Lucky people don't they humble. Rainy season they humble them because now swimming pool then they stay. And then the traffic of Lagos is the best place you can blow. Very soon traffic in Lagos will manifest in a new dimension. In traffic now you can get anything you want. Make governor no try and work. That's where they try to ban people from saying, you know, go walk. Because if we leave this comment in that traffic will help us. Very soon you'll be in traffic one day and you'll see somebody tap your window. Oga, okay? land for sale. <laughs> now you go look and say, land for sale, huh? Yes, we get different, different land. Which one you want? You could do everywhere. Ah, land for sale. Do you have VGC? Ah, Oga, okay, wait. Kamaru, VGC. Okay, VGC don't finish that. Do you like uh, maybe Ikorodu? Uh, how would I even know if it is original land? Okay. <laughs> now this land be this, this time. <laughs> and one thing about Lagos, if you see Third Mainland don't change, things are improving. But if you are going home tonight and you happen to have a flat tire on Third Mainland Bridge, I beg you, just park the car, take off. Face Yanoworo. No attempt to do anything there. Go ask direction to your house. The last time I was on this third mainland bridge with a flat tire, as I got down and started removing the tire, one guy came from nowhere, entered my car, began to remove the stereo. Ah, oh, boy, what's your plan? Oh, guys, you don't know, need to come up something. Make me say, come up something. Now. This Lagos. Richard Quest, come. Now, this Lagos. Max Ugaba, come. Now, this Lagos. But one guy come with a no tell us. He heard that Nollywood was big. He needed to confirm. Now he come up from California, enter Lagos. As he reach our airport, the first person we see, we ask direction. Now all these ancient Ubu Moshok Kabu Kabu drivers. Excuse me, sir. Can you please take me to where all the action is happening in Lagos? Action. You want to see action? Nollywood. I mean Nollywood. Nollywood. Which area that one live for Lagos? Is it Lekki or Magudo areas? No, the action. Where the action takes place? Ah, action! Ah, ah. Oh yeah, enter. Mm. I carry the man from airport straight to Obalindi. <laughs> and truly, as they reached Obalindi, action was happening. Two area boys were fighting. As they got there. Now, the Lagos area boys fight is different from all the mainland fights. In Lagos Island or Bali, they, when area boys are fighting, they fight naked. They take up, ah, Moleni, oh, Nikoton, Iyai, Moloti, eh. All those ones from Mushiko, they ah, Moleni, oh, Leni. Two hours later, Leni, Leni. <laughs> Lagos Island boys, no. One minute, ah, oh, Nikoton, Leni, shh, they will just go naked. You can't see elderly men, family men with five wives and 50 children from middle of road, ah, Leni. You know, you know, God know what they fight? The two legs. So the Oyibo was shocked when he saw two naked men in the middle of a balade fighting. And people were gathered watching. He said, wow, is this real? The Baba said, very real. Very, very real. Life action. Authentic. Ah. So um, pl please, where is the director? Where are the cameras? Now people had their camera phone. Ah, camera everywhere. Camera everywhere. Everybody cameraman. Where is the director? Eh, ah. Hey, we, we. Direct. We well, look. Direct. Now, in Lagos Island, when the fight gets to a crescendo and you can't take it physically, you resort to using bottle. In Lagos Island, they don't use head to break bottle. They use this side. So the first guy took a bottle and broke it. Bam! The Uyibo shouted, Wow! Baba said, you never see anything. Wait! In order to show up, the other guy said, Ah, Woleni took a Coca-Cola bottle. Coca-Cola bottle of 1986, not 2017. Let me explain the difference. The Coca-Cola bottle of 1986 has a convex lens under it. Now they take discover some bacteria. Now when he took the bottle, 
He didn't break it with his leg. He took it to his head. As he slammed him, we just said, Kuh! The Igbo turned to the man and said, So what's going to happen now? <laughs> say, Now he's going to die. <laughs> so you are going to pay me my money. <laughs> Thank you very much. You know me. You know the way I roll. Like I'm boorish. I have a beef with the American embassy, seriously. I just need to confide to you people. I don't want to hear this thing outside. A lot of people tell me that Nigerians will ask foolish questions. But I think these people ask more foolish questions. Okay, fine, I've seen people here today. Hey, princess, hello. Are you here for this show? I said, no. I'm here to clean my teeth. Nigerians, my own fans that love me. I had issues some years ago. I know a lot of you heard about it. I had problems with my marriage. And somebody said, oh my God, I heard your marriage ended. Oh my God. Has your husband left? I said, no, he's at home cooking in the room. What American embassy? These people think they are smart. I go there. And you know the thing is, uh, you can't take phones, you can't take anything. Fine, they are watching you. You see people, you know, you can't greet them. Because you see, if they deny them, they might deny you. No, Royal Shaky Nigga. It's in, I'm telling you. I don't, I've known a lot of, if you want me to mention him, I'll mention it. You know me. I know people here that I've seen that they deny. You understand? If you push me, if you say princess talk, I will talk. Eh hey, hey. Some years ago, when Super Eagles wanted to travel, I saw people. Well, you both can ask foolish questions. I uh, said, so where are you going? I said, Atlanta. He said, what? I said, Atlanta. Oh, you mean Georgia, Atlanta? I said, yes. He said, oh, I see, you got an accent. I said, no, you have an accent. Atlanta, is there no T there? Where do you put the T? No, when you stand to my where you are the embassy, please be bold. What did I say? Yeah, you can't breathe really come in. He said, so what are you going for? I said, I'm going on holiday. He said, okay. So, what will you be doing? Ladies and gentlemen, when somebody asks you a foolish question, please feel free to get angry, but don't react, okay? React inside. When you get home, be remembering what I'm telling you. What did I say? React inside. He said, so what will you be going for? In my mind, I was angry. I said, but I just told you now, holiday. Outside, I said, I'll be going for holiday. <laughs> she said, so what will you be doing? In my mind, I said, are you an idiot? I said, I'm going for holiday. What will I be doing? Outside, I said, I will be sleeping, eating, waking up, having my bath. The guy said, oh, that's too much information. Inside my mind, I said, no, you ask me. I said, that's OK, no problem. But that time, I did shake. He said, so how long will you be staying? I said, one week. He said, will you be walking when you get there? In my heart. I said, if I walk, will I tell you? <laughs> Outside, I said, no. I got to the point of entry. And this is a true life story. This guy did not want me to enter. He said, ma'am, can you step aside, please? I said, OK. Where? He said, go that way. That white lady will search you. I look the person in India. India and white. I was angry, ladies and gentlemen, but inside, I, but outside, I be bold, OK? I just smile. He said, I can smell mangoes in your bag. Have you got fruits in your bag? In my mind, I say, when I'm not stupid, I will like carry fruits. I said, I say, no. Ladies and gentlemen, they nearly send me back. Be careful, please, if you're traveling. You know Ikuza, pomade for air. Don't use it. <laughs> Yo, when you pass the drug, they will swipe you to beep, 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 beep. You know, say so that thing gets more ego. And I rub for my hair. I'm telling you a true life story, please. And this, don't clap if you want to clap, feel free. This mango they are smelling, a few people know my house, I stay around my coco. I'm not shy to say it, but I might be shy to invite you over, but I'm not shy to say it. We have a lot of rats and cockroaches. So you know there's this hard pesticide we all use in my area. I'm traveling, I feel I don't want the pesticide to be smelling. Now you make me buy air fresh now, we get mango flavor. They delayed me. Then please, if you're traveling, I know some of you don't like the food they serve in the plane, but don't eat too much. As they are scanning me, the thing is beeping. It's beeping. Because you can see the bolus of a bag big inside my tummy. Or you won't look at me. You have 50 wraps inside you. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, that's my time. Thank you very much. I love you. Yes, so I want to tell you a story of my of my journey into sources. Yeah, sources. My sources story is starting in Lagos. Yeah, it's not me. And, and over the 
here is not easy because good things don't come easy. I hope you know that. If good things come easy, it's either you are born one night or doing something terrible. But if you struggle to climb the ladder of sources, you will make it eventually. A round of applause for the successful people here tonight. I remember, I go primary school, I go secondary school, I go refast, I go polytechnic, I go refast. How in Lagos State? Yeah, when I finish, I, I go at this one. Let's write from bus center. They're going to tell me, no, no, no. Hall in Lagos. Some people come and meet me. Why don't you relocate, son? Yeah. You have gone at this son. They don't pick you. Why are you still staying here in Lagos? I come and tell that person. I say, relax. How we make it here in Lagos. That person look me. Yemu, what you have that is special? You don't have anything special. Say, if you go at this son, you go spoke English. They will not give you the roto plate. I say, is this person rice? The person say, relocation abroad. Yeah, if you go abroad, you see work, and you see everything there. I say, hmm, a coin now need to make here. And there is an identity me. Over the year, 2004, I hammer in this Lagos, nearly. I, I, I do Geneva. How many people want Geneva here? <laughs> Remember that girl from Ayetoro? He come to Lagos, that storyline. I make it here in that same Lagos. After that Geneva, I look, I say, Oda, about that same say, I do your name, English name, all in Lagos. Yeah, and they're making money. I have accounts now. My cast is reading hop, hop, hop. Ah, ah, all in Lagos. After that one, I come and say, okay, what's next? Geneva, they say Geneva again. What is special in your Geneva? I say, watch out for Geneva Diary. And I start Geneva Diary. All in Lagos. <laughs> and now, I have become a peace girl in Lagos. Did I relocate, son? All my success is here in Lagos. All I want to told you now, don't mind my spoken English. If I use my mouth to call shake it for you, don't took it. It's the money I have, I want to borrow you. Say, so you, who praised that thing? Who praised it? Wait, all I want to tell you is that in this Lagos that you are his, you will make it. It may look rough. No worries. Stay focused and you get your destination. A round of applause for yourself, please. Thank you so much for having me here tonight. Arimen Olufunke Akindele Belo, aka Jennifer, all the way from Ikorodwoga, Itaro.